You're covered in the front. Oh, that's why the, the lens is so... Ay, <laughs> cabrón! Okay. Good. Wait, 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 wait. Let me... Well, this way? Yeah. Okay, explain what you're doing. I'm just shooting. Henry 357 lever action rifle uh, all weather model uh, also shoots a 38 special do, 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 nice beautiful rifle made in USA clear I wanted to compare the 357 Magnum versus a 44 Magnum but obviously the 44 is gonna be more powerful if I go handgun to handgun so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna shoot the 357 out of this uh, rifle and to compensate for the difference on the uh, 44 Magnum and we're gonna do the 44 Magnum out of a Desert Eagle uh, semi-automatic uh, handgun so I want to see if uh, it can keep up with the 44 pretty much using a rifle versus a handgun uh, I don't know what's gonna happen the ammunition is gonna be both from Underwood Ammo. They're both gonna be extreme penetrators. So um, let's get to it, see what happens. We're gonna shoot these uh, 24 gauge sheet metal. How many of them is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. On the 17th one, I put three more just in case. We'll see what happens. Um, that's better, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so, uh, oh, too close. <laughs> Here's the 357 on the top and 44 Magnum on the bottom. Can you see just buddy? Right there. Okay. There's the 357 and 44 Magnum. They're both extreme penetrators. Of course, the 44, a bigger cartridge a little bit. And one is, I think, 180 grain. The other one is a two. 240 or 220 something like that okay uh, what are we doing at uh, 357 first we're gonna go with the um, we're gonna go with the smaller caliber got your ears yes you're recording yes okay good final oh, oh go to the side But it's here. Oh really? <laughs> oh man, I I knew we should have had a little bit more. Uh, oh! <laughs> at least you got the bullet. Yes. <laughs> okay, you know before I I change uh, the. Okay, so went through all 17, hit the end. It bent the last ones, and here's the bullet. Ah, it's hot. It's ah. hot. Yeah, it's hot. Don't touch it. No, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> so it made it to the end. Uh, this is amazing. I don't know what's going to happen to the 44 Magnum. Before I change and add more of these, let me shoot the 44 Magnum. If we're getting the same results, then maybe we have to come back and redo it. So let me go with the 44 Magnum and see what, what's going to happen to that one. Hold on. Okay, there's our 44 and we're going to do the Desert Eagle for Magnum Research. Gasparini, you ready? Wait, 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 it's no Desert Eagle. It's a Gasper Eagle. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. No. I like, wait, am I saying you something know, pe wrong? People say that with a... <laughs> <laughs> with your, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, 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 okay. Uh, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, andale. Oh, safety's on. Okay. Fire in the hole. Clear. Oh man, <laughs> it did come to the end. <laughs> well, you know, so far it's not bad. 
It's, they're both going to the end. Exactly the same. Response. Hey, but look at one thing. The, the 357 out of that rifle, it bent the back more than the 44 Magnum. Hmm. Do you want to add more of these? We have to. Why? Because we need to see where it's going to stop. Oh, where's the bullet? Come on, stop at the last one. Yeah, but they, but they both did. We need to see them. We need to like have them slow down one by one. There'll be enough room on it. Okay. Okay. We added more. There's 29 sheet metals now. You ready? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Ah, it's here. Okay. So I was going pre center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so it wasn't too far off. Stopped on the 19, and nothing happened to the 20th. And here's the bullet. Where did it go? I saw it here. Okay. I know what you guys are thinking. Grab it, it's hot. But I learned my lesson. No, you don't, you don't learn. Ah, it's hot. Yeah. It's hot, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the other one? Did it fall here? I don't know. I don't see the other one. There was two of them. No, you take the other one. I didn't, I didn't touch it. Oh, really? Yeah, it must be here somewhere. Probably. Oh, it's here. It's here. I want. Oh, no. Oh, you, no, that's not it. No, that's not. It must have moved when I... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's here somewhere. Okay, long story short. Long story short, um, 19. 357 took 19 to stop. Okay, now I gotta put this back in order. Um, okay. Okay, pull that one. No, that's two. Hopefully it doesn't shift too much. Because look, there isn't too much room over here. I'm gonna have to go like really low on the bottom right, like on that edge. Okay, hold this thing. It's hot, be careful. Ah. Yeah, just give it to me while it's hot. <laughs> but where did the other one go? Uh, you sure you didn't grab it? No, not me. Okay, I'll find it later. Let's go back to the 44 Magnum. So, so far I think we're getting good results out of this. The 357 Magnum is doing the same thing as the 44. Okay, round two for the 44 Magnum. Again, the same round, same gun. I'm gonna have to get a little closer. Shoot right over there, hopefully I don't hit the wood. Got my sunglasses on, Jasperi, you got your sunglasses. No, you don't, that's okay. Okay. Fire in the hole. Oh, I hit it nice. Jasperi, what's your uh, forensics analysis on this one? What do you think happened? Ah, uh, stop at the eight, number 18 and the bullet disappeared. <laughs> So Jasperi, what do you think happened? I don't know. Disappear. So what do we what do we learn today? <laughs> we learn that and they almost do the same thing, kind mm, of? Mm, yes. Okay, you know what? Let's wrap this uh, sheet metal thing. So as you guys can see, um they're doing almost the same, shooting them out of two different firearms. Rifle versus a handgun. Let's shoot some paper to uh, see a little better results. This was a little bit confusing, honestly, because these are so small and there wasn't enough room to shoot. So uh, it dripped it in a larger section. So let's go round two, round two of the test. Okay, this next test will 100% confirm what's happening. Um, found it. <laughs> There's that 44 Magnum. Nice, right? No, this is a really yeah, it's, yeah, it's warm. Oh. It's warm. That's it. Uh, but there's two of the 357 Magnums. Right, Jasperi? Yes. I don't know what happened to the other one. Okay, paper. We're gonna shoot paper. 
if you are a tree hugger I recommend you skip the section come back at a different time we got uh, one two three four five six seven eight rims of uh, paper and there's a uh, 500 sheets of course per rim is that what it's called the rim I don't know something like that just are you ready I'm ready okay final You wanna look right now what happened or you wanna shoot first the other one? Uh, let me just look real quick. So I went in through the first uh, bundle. So, oh, there, there's the bullet right there. Oh yeah, yes too. So stopped on the... Second one. Second one. And messed up the surface on the third one. So this will be perfect. We'll just leave it like that. And let's shoot it with the 44 Magnum. This will be interesting now. Okay. Same round, extreme penetrator. That's very ready. I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Clear. What do you think happened? Uh, do you think it went in farther? Yes. So they both went into the first rim. Oh no. <laughs> the 357 did better job, right? Yeah. Yeah, look, the bottom. That 357 did a better job coming out of a rifle than that 44 Magnum. That's so a 357. That's a 357. Look, there's a 44 Magnum right in there. Yep. It did a better job. Oh yeah, half halfway. Halfway through it. Uh, let me get out of the. Okay. Right there. You want to record it this way? Yeah, there. It's warm, but it's not hot. So there they are, side by side. Just better give me a little close up on it. That's how much, uh, yeah. And that's the results. Shooting out of a rifle versus a handgun. Big difference, right? Yeah. And here's that 357 going through the sheet metal. Look at that. So there's a difference. Three little bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Three little monkeys. <laughs> ah, cabrón. No more, no more, no more. No, no more monkeys. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have to finish singing all of it at one point. <laughs> Down to the one monkey left. <laughs> Ay, cabrón. <laughs> okay. That's it. Looks good. Uh, wow, what a big difference! Uh, and you know, and you know what? And the metal make a good job, better job too. The what? And the metal, uh, the 357. Yeah, it kept up in my opinion. Even at the end, remember seeing at the last plate, it, it gave it a, a bigger uh, dent on the last, yeah. on the last one. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of tells you that the 357 did the, the confirmation that did a better job going through stuff with the rifle versus. Um, the 44 Magnum. I don't know, would, would I want to be hit by a 44 or a 357? <laughs> I think I still choose a 357. 44 has got, it's got more mass. It's a little bit heavier bullet. <laughs> that's our opinion. I don't know. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Let's go through little monkeys. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna like this one. Cabron. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, let's go see. Ay, cabrón. I mean, oh, you missed that one. Ah, that's it. Oh, that was quick. No, I can do this thing faster. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, like the cowboys? <laughs> All you need is just one horse to come in and then use that one to yeah, shoot. Yeah, come on, with this gun I feel in the west. Yeah, I wild, on, wild I, west. I'm in the west. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a nice one. Yeah, it's a really nice gun. Okay, that's it. Adios. <laughs>